Hey, hello, Jacob here. With a week five preview and a little bit of, oh boy, news. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the Minnesota Vikings take on the New York Giants this Sunday. And uh, a couple keys to watch in this game, of course, are pretty much the same keys as it seems to be every week. Is Kirk Cousins going to be accurate enough to hit anybody? Is our running game going to be able to do anything? Is our offensive line going to be able to block anyone? Is our defense going to show up and play? And can we kick the ball through the uprights? I mean, it's pretty much the same stuff week in and week out. But to kind of elaborate further on that, can Kirk Cousins get the ball to our receivers? Because I think it's safe to say the receivers are getting a little frustrated at this point. I'll get into that here in a minute. And, uh... <laughs> Ew. That's the last thing we freaking need at this point. But anyway... And, of course, can our defense stop this now godly quarterback in Daniel Jones, which, for anyone who remembers watching the draft, <laughs> I think a lot of people will be like, wait, the Giants fans are actually rooting for this guy now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah, you would have never guessed that the Giants fans would have been having this reaction when they drafted him. Holy crud. But anyway... Now, I will say he was playing up against a couple of mm, defenses, so this will be his first true test, and it is at the New York Giants' place, so, of course, you know, being at home for Daniel Jones, that always helps when you're at home. And also, uh, well, Dan Bailey, can you just keep doing what you need to do, and can you keep kicking the ball through the uprights? <laughs> That's all we need from you. Now to the topic at hand, which has been really, really, really getting to me. Well, first up, Kirk Cousins was uh, on a podcast and literally apologized to Adam Thielen for missing him horribly on few passes that could have been completed in that Bears game. But, again, to be fair... When it comes to throwing those type of passes, we don't have, you know, 250 plus pound linemen, linebackers chasing us down. So, <laughs> it, it's one thing or another there, but anyway. And, uh, yeah, basically after Adam Thielen put him on blast by basically saying you have got to hit those open throws. Which, to be fair, pretty much every single Vikings fan has been. And, uh... Again, with that, Kirk, less talking, more results, please. <laughs> I mean, you can keep apologizing till you're blue in the face. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the apologies are only as good as the results on the field. And now to the topic du jour. Stefan Diggs. Oh, boy. Is this really going to blow up in our face? So yeah, for those of you who don't know, Stefan Diggs was out of practice today for non-injury reasons, and apparently he's been sending a lot of cryptic messages recently. For whatever that's worth. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's just frustration, I don't know if it's a lack of actually, you know, wanting to be with the Vikings, if it's just a case of something going on, I mean, I don't know what's going on in his life, I don't know if there's something going on, or if he's just flat out ticked off at Kirk Cousins for not, you know, <laughs> at least giving him real options per se, but I don't know, I... It, Ever since that Packers game, it just seems different from what I'm used to seeing. Now, whether or not that actually means anything, or if he's always been that way, well, who knows. Yeah, I'm, I'm not Stefan Diggs, I'm not around him, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so, as far as I know, there's been a lot of rumors 
And when I mean rumors, I mean rumors. <laughs> As in, like, Bill Belichick. It's amazing how whenever, like, a big day player has a little bit of uh, turmoil with a team, they automatically assume he wants to go to the Patriots or something. I, 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 this year has just been really interesting in the NFL for stuff like that. And all I can say is if Diggs wants out, I, personally, depending on what we can get for him, if we can get a first, oh, hell yeah. You know, but I don't know. It, honestly, what I think needs to happen is we just need to get back on track, you know, and just keep getting out wins. And also, let everything fall into place. Because honestly, it, it. This. It. I mean, I'm basically at a loss for words for all of this this year, and it's just been... It seems like one thing after another. But yeah, I... Again, if there's any more information with the Stefan Diggs issue, I'll be sure to drop a video on that. But uh, as of now, I'm just going to leave this as, you know, rumors... But even though, like I said before, with all the stuff that has happened with receivers this year, mainly Antonio Brown, <laughs> there's definitely cause to be concerned. But anyway. So yeah, just thought I'd quick jump on and give my thoughts on some of the latest things that have been happening. So without further ado, you guys have a good night and we'll talk to you later.